Just missed them. Heightened station. Rowing, rowing, rowing. Do you want to do a sound check or we think we're good? Boo, bill, 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 boo. Mr. Bill, exactly what would have been, it would have been the same. What's that? How this, it was exactly what would have been, it would have been the same. It would have been different. Zach probably would have chimed in and been political, but. I don't always want to be political. Political is not always the way it should be. Is yeah. It? I think you should be closer to the mic, if anything. Oh. Zach said you'd be just like that. Like that a coward, is- not talking about politics. Mr. Zach, you pushed out tonight. I, I expect you to be here next time I hear. Oh, yeah. He's calling yeah. you. Yeah. Slim and oh. Slim Jim. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Randy Savage. All right. Welcome back to another scintillating episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. It's actually the same one you were watching earlier. This is just the second half of it. We took a few moments to ourselves to regroup our thoughts and our minds. And Circle jerk. That's yeah, it. we yep. juggle that stuff off. Yep. And it what, was do you, what do you think that Kogli Mowgli is? It's awesome. Isn't it good? Yeah, I'm taking my one, another one. It's delicious. Um, so, Ross. You want me to fill it up? Yeah, go for it. Well, you guys start off the show. I'll bring it down. Right. I got to get rid of it. Yeah. It's been in there for months. And can you bring me a little glass? Awesome Kogli Mowgli. Hell yeah. Kogli Mowgli. All right. In the meantime... I know we talked a lot about it while Ross was not here, but a few weekends ago, Phil and myself went to go see Slayer and a number of other bands at the Tinley Park Amphitheater in beautiful Tinley Park, Illinois. And Ross, he had some questions about it. All right. I know every, every, I want to say Slayer is Slayer, but I want to ask Lamb of God, Behemoth, Anthrax, or Testament, who... who who blew you away? So we completely missed Testament. Really? They started, and by the time Phil and I had gotten there, they had ended already. Well, I saw Testament headlining by themselves back in 2016, and I have to have to say they were fucking inc- incredible. Thank you. Um. Oh Jesus Christ! Wait, are you are you playing their music? Or is that your ringtone? Mom? I'm going to be coming home late tonight. What's up? No, I I got it, Mom. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm eating here. I'm going out with them later. Uh, I'll probably going to be around 1. Yeah, 2.15. Okay. We love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Bye. Sorry. No, there's never a need to apologize about talking to your mother. Nope. Um, I thought Anthrax was a little weak. I know I was was excited to see them. Um, And I don't know, Phil, if you'll agree with me on this one, but Scott Ian kept doing these things, you know, that singers normally do where they stop singing. And then they let the crowd sing along. Yeah. And I couldn't hear anyone singing along. Yeah. And I don't know if that was just like the acoustics of the place or like where we were no. sitting. I'm I'm pretty sure no one was singing. Nobody liked Anthrax. I like, saw Anthrax last year that, opening. That's up. that's why I went. Randy from Lamb of God screamed out. All right, let's give it up for Anthrax. Fuck you guys, because because everybody booed. Yeah. That so. Behemoth. I thought Behemoth was great. Yeah. They played. I don't know. I don't remember the. I don't know their music. Yeah. They, they played a beautiful song called "The Wolves of Siberia," which yep. I guess is off of an upcoming album, and it was pretty good. Oh. And okay, Phil, when you saw um, Behemoth, I saw Behemoth at Open Air Fest. You know, it was pretty much the same as uh, what you guys uh, outdoor. Yeah. Indoor or outdoor when it comes to Behemoth. What, indoor is always better than outdoor, in my opinion. Were you disappointed, or you just? Eh, whatever. I mean, uh, I, I thought I, they sounded great. I, I like I like indoor way better because yeah. then the whole show is dedicated to them, mm-hmm. so they can like have a longer set and shit and do more theatrics or whatever. I I think next year they're gonna do a tour by themselves. I'm hoping yeah. because I you know I've been listening to them for like th- a couple of years now. If if there was that farewell Slayer show and then there was a Behemoth show by themselves, I probably wouldn't even gone farewell Slayer. Oh, i have definitely you know Behemoth if it. Even behaving Lamb of God, Lamb of God live is to me is like one like to me is like almost Pantera. 
so one thing I will say about Lamb of God is Randy kept talking about like this is it, this is the underground, this is the underground sound, this is, we are so underground, and he's playing to an audience of twenty thousand people. Yeah. Like you don't get to say you're underground, yeah, when yeah. you're performing it and forty five dollars shirts and fifty dollars movie shorts. Right? Yeah, that's your that's no, a far that's, cry from selling your fucking yeah. mixtape. You that, know, that's not how he was at Open Air. He he just played his shit. He didn't get. You heard about how he went to jail for murder, right? In a check for fourth degree murder. Yeah, did you hear about that, Bill? What's, what's fourth degree murder? What happened to poor Randy? What did he, he uh, do? The, uh, like nineteen year old cro- like jumped on stage, and he like lost it. So he, he like threw him into the crowd, and I guess the kid landed right on his neck, like by Oof. his nervous system, and it like killed him instantly. So. Is yeah. that even a thing in America? Fourth degree murder? I have never heard of anything out before. Never heard that. I into. mean, you know, considering the, you know, experiences I had with police, that's kind of more like harassment when when you throw somebody. But he was literally in, in jail though for like almost a year over this until yeah. like the the like the the judge put and Chuck literally threw it away. But it's ridiculous that the the check um I am checked myself, but literally made an example for himself saying this violence has to stop. But he just puts the guy literally into the crowd, which he, I would say to Randy. In 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 tribute to that that country, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's right. That poor nineteen year old was laid to rest. Of what I've heard, he they won't play in check again. Was did it happen in the Czech Republic? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Man, if only they had played in Slovakia. Other, uh, I got some concert reviews. Um, we went and saw King Gizzard, which was fucking awesome, and it was funny as hell because. So I've talked about this band before, and they are absolutely my favorite band right now. This is the one, Kid, the, kid Who, King Gizzard, and what, the, and the Lizard Wizard. What kind of music is it? It's psych. Like hippie psych. Then there's some. Then there's an album that sounds like Sleep. Then there's an album that sounds like The Beatles. Then there's an album that sounds like Brian Jones Time Asker. They're like the new Brian Jones Time Asker for me. I'm 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 like obsessed with them because they I don't know they they're just really good. But the funny thing is, so they have they so what they did was I mentioned this before. They said they're like when bands are on tour they fucking hate each other. So they're like, man, we hate each other so much. We're gonna just write all the shit we got, and they wrote six albums in one year. What? Six albums in one year. How many did they come out? How many did it come out in one year? How many came? All, all of them came out. How was that? That sounds like a lot of money, though. Well, I mean, it, what I don't know if it's a lot of money. It's they, they, they were not, not if you know people in the studio, not if you have like a friend in the studio and shit, or if you're producing it yourself, yeah, and distributing it yourself. Yeah. Wow, most of the bands I I listen to is like every two to three years. Well, it's like overly produced metal too, and and most people can't fucking release that many albums in one year, let alone their whole career. I that's how many albums I released in like ten years. You know, one mm-hmm. one album per year or something. But, anyways, uh. It's fucking great. But the funny thing is that like all these albums, like there's Paper Mache Dream Balloon, which is really chill, totally acoustic and flute, like Woodstock hippie shit. Then there's like Flying Microtonal Banana, which is super garage rock. And then there's like another one that's like a stoner rock. But the, but the thing that's funny is when they play live, they're not going to play the hippie stuff. They play all the garage rock stuff. And I didn't know that. Dude... That place was more nuts than fucking Slayer, because the whole place was moshing. How could you? S- anything- I was with Kelly front row, yeah. and when we left, we were drenched in sweat. Completely, we, it looked like we dove into a fucking saltwater sweat pool. And Kelly could confirm this. Yeah, no, she 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 was mad. She's like, "You didn't tell me this was gonna be this nuts." I'm like, "I didn't know, cause cause they're like a hippie band, you know." Okay, I have to ask you. We we went to four shows this year, correct? We saw, yeah, all the shows we went. Uh, is Slade, Wad Todd, every time we die. And power, power trip. trip. Power trip. Yeah. Who, 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 which one was the better show for you? Which one was the best? Yes. Out I, of those I, four, I still like uh, every time I die, because I know the most songs and, yeah, I I, I listened to them since eighth grade. 
I had to go with what would I kept it up. Would Tade a dead pouch up that dead every time I died what? in sleep. All right. Did you find beautiful women at all those other shows? I I have to say, Power Trip was the best live for me. Yeah, yeah. That. What do you think about Power Trip live? I, it was at like Reggie's, and that yeah. show was oh my. Yeah, it it was great. It it it. it I couldn't. How good they are live! It's like I didn't. They saw better live than they did on on the CD. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Every time I die was uh, I was with a couple of a female. Plus, I thought the crowd was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but that's you rank that as number three. Number two, I said. Oh, my mistake. And then one time, and then Enslaved. Enslaved was good. It was just, I thought the clock was a little buoyed, but I still enjoyed the music. Watain was cool just because it was nuts. It was. That's I the love the, the, the stage. How Presence, you, yeah. Yes. It was so fucking satanic. It, it made Mayhem look like a bunch of pussies, in my opinion. Whoa. It does. All yeah. right, listen to that, Mayhem. Ross is calling you out right here, right now, and hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Well, it, it was like Mayhem was supposed to be the, the most satanic band ever. It was okay, but but the the singer that stood there singing with a fucking skull. Yeah, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, that's why I kind of lay off a of metal as much as I like hardcore because metals can be very incredibly cheesy. It's like a, like a Goosebumps episode. Well, I, I always. <laughs> yeah. I don't always understand a hardcore music at all. You know what I don't like? I, I work with with like a metalhead, and every fucking metalhead that I talk to, like, not everyone, but I can tell if I'm going to get along with them by if they know how to, like, joke around or, or smile. Because the rest of them are just like, yeah, how are you? Okay, how's your day going? Oh, okay. Shit, life fucking sucks. They sound yeah. nice. Yeah. How do you do? I sound like that? No, you know how to have fun. That's why you yeah. go to something like Power Trip, yeah. or every time I, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's not really, I don't know. I would absolutely go to another show. I, every, I would not. You can't fucking like yin and yang. You can't uh, drown in one emotion and being fucking depressed and shit. You know. So I actually would go to every time I die show any time of the week. Well. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you think they're gonna do that? Was that was tour next year? Yeah, absolutely. Because that was a that was a mini thing. I think they did just for make more money for them. Because they wouldn't play Dirty Nellies normally. Well, I the think that made the show even better because you know, it, it, I only thing I didn't understand what was up with the, the Dirty Nellies having the twenty one upstairs and no, they can't drink at the bottom. I never understood Cause, that because it's in the suburbs and they got different drinking laws. I guess I haven't been to enough concerts in the summers yet. I think Dirty Nelly's is a bar full time. Isn't it like couldn't you just go there for a drink, or is it like a full concert? It's a there? restaurant, and they have a bar upstairs. I Got guess. you. I, di- I didn't know that either. I thought it was a full time bar. Well, because it it's in a uh, Wheeling. Right? Palatine. 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 Palatine, beautiful Palatine, Illinois. Well, you know, I've been there before, but it was a little different going to every time I die. It was a little more strict because I think it was an all age show. When yeah. I went to see the first time, it was a uh, 21 and Odo, which it was a little more laid back. Yeah. Which w- made you mad because you were looking for those younger girls. Mm-hmm. No, the girl I was with, oh, she was fucking incredible. Tell us about her. Yeah. Oh, tattooed. What kind of tattoos? I could have been bubble. She had so many. Mm-hmm. Pepperonis, salamis, or sausage oh, links? She had a nice one on her chest. No, I'm talking about the <laughs> nipples. <laughs> it was pierced. Ooh. Wait, just one? Both of them. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Did she have a peach fuzz? I don't know. Or, or was it like a, you know, easy E, sweaty day, jerry curl? I don't know what you're roughly right now. <laughs> okay. Do you remember her name? Yes, but I'm not going to say it. Can I guess? Try. Sarah. Nope. Liz. Nope. Michelle. Nope. Anne. Nope. Am I getting close? Nope. Oh, is it a metal name? We will provide a link to her profile. That's at right. The end of this yeah. episode. And a special shout out to that special someone who. I want to thank thank you for a great night. You know, oh. you made my night. You you did. You romantic. You. No, this is you know I don't always get attention. I got attention. And we made my night. Wait, we, we, you, we, you, it was a we, 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 so, we, Wait, so you're she's still obsessed with you? I I can say she likes me still. Why don't you talk to her? 
Because it's difficult for me to talk to somebody if I don't talk to them face to face. Ah, what? So why don't you tell her, hey, come by. I need my ass eaten out. Mm-hmm. You know? Ah. Uh, on, on a lonely Sunday night, you know? Maybe. You think she'll do it? Uh, Even do after, it? like, some Taco Burrito King. Mm. She lives in Bonnet, Illinois, I think that's Yeah. Bert, wait, Bartlett? Bartlett? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I mean, if she's not... She's, a, this is like the okay stream, isn't it? Uh, maybe. I think if I were you, I'd take a picture of my dick in a hot dog bun. Yep. And like in a, you know, maybe Paradise Pup uniform. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Just like dinner served. That That's way right. you don't have to talk. It's just kind of like the picture speaking for itself. Exactly right. You might end up on her calendar. But I, you'll definitely end up what's, in what's her What's the heart. issue now? You don't know if she wants mustard or ketchup. No, I think I'm in Bayless because I still live with my parents, and she lives by herself. We well, get a hotel, man. Old Why school. is everybody says hotel? I, I don't want that shit, man. I don't know, dude. The Marriott and Rosemont's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. What? Why how, don't you want the, the Sybaris heart shaped jacuzzi? Ooh, how much is baby. it a night? The Marriott or the Sybaris? Where the hell is Sybaris? Phil, where's the Sybaris? I, I don't know. But dude, they have one. They have one. Why night. You, can I just bring over here? We we have a po- podcast. What and only if you fuck her on the table while we're doing it. Oh, Damn. I'd be, oh shit, I'd be embarrassed. Why? Because ca- we can't lose character though, because we still have to talk about special topics while you're thrusting. Right. Let's, let's see what happens. I gotta talk to her about this. We'd have to get you a headset mic. Cause yeah. If, you know. Ross getting his we, we pussy wanna, on cam. Well, we, yeah, and we want to hear. We want like some HD sound effect. You know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. someone we'll need multiple mics. I, I gotta change the subject. You know the 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 the, the, the woman who does uh the the voice of Boston Stum? Yeah, that's she who just, you want to fuck. She also does yeah. the voice of Maggie. Yeah, it's just, she does a pacifier, and that's almost how you sound like. You know? Can you do that? Yeah. Yes, that's funny. So you're saying you got a boner right now for Maggie? Oh, I got so I. I I, sometimes you know in my lifetime i am do you want us to help you uh get this girl on the podcast oh my god we I mean, have a new year's resolution yeah for 2018 i actually will love that yeah i don't know wait how much have you talked to her since the show she always funds me up when i like her when I, she likes things i like so, well what's the last time you talked though my birthday Oh, well, that's pretty close. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm just... We'll blur out, like, her face and all if she doesn't want to fuck on live YouTube, you know? I no. just want to know what... I just want her, you know... You just want her. That's it. Yes, you just I want do. her. I really do. Yeah. It, it, you know, I'm not the kind of person who who is very into a lot of girls. I did like her a lot. Hmm. Well, you gotta... You have the seeds. Now you need to plant them and, and watch a beautiful flower... Of love grow, Ross. I saw you the picture of her, right? From a scale from one to ten, what will you give her? I'm sorry, Bill, but you just got interrupted. I I don't know, Ross. I I'm can't talking, see I'm very well. Yeah. I'm talking oh. to Phil. Oh, right. Uh, what? I saw the picture of her. Yeah. What would you give her from a one to ten? I uh, I mean I I I don't know for not for not for me. That's one, what I give her. One being babe, ten being total babe. How would you rank her? No, come on. Quit looking that up, okay? I, I don't want to... I would. We will see this lovely angel of yours when she's getting pounced down on this table. Not me. I see it, nothing. You know, if, if I don't know how to talk to people online. I'm trying to say, if I can talk, be able to figure out how to talk to people online, I'll do it. It's just, I, it's, it's like... We're going to give you like a FBI, like Matrix cord to your ear, and we'll tell you what to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll even read it like a great poem, like uh, you know, like the Martin Luther King speech. Can we do it now? Do you have your phone on you, Russ? Can you send her a Facebook message? I was about to. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Pull it out. No. Just I'm be like, I totally no, got a boner right I, now. I'm so shy. No. 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 Just say. You know how I really like her, because like, because I'm shy. Just say, hey, girl, how's it going? Yeah. That's just, all you have to say. That's all you got to say. I'm, I like her. I really do. Well, well then, then you then should then probably talk it, to man. her. Yeah. James is up. No, no. We're going to initiate contact. Yes. We're going to. No, I don't want to. By the end of the night, at least, because I know you're not going to do it now. No, I'm not going to do it, but I don't know I'll let you. 
Let us help you help yourself. Why does everybody want want this, I mean, Is that gonna be different if I fucking go? Well, I don't want you to regret how, how you know? this as the yes, girl that got that's away. That's exactly my brother in law says when I had the same cut. You, you don't know what you're you don't missing. know until you do it. Yes. It's like heroin. And you know, long ago, you know, you always say this, say Ross, you're good looking and everything, but I think you're worse. Hmm. You don't know remember saying that? Who said that? You said that. Oh, I no, I don't remember. You always say that. Or you I'll know, just you, pretend I don't. You say you. You, you always say you, you're you're fucking wuss. Well, yeah. This is case in yeah. point. Yeah. Well, because I'm trying to egg you on to to you know do. Well, why can't shit. you accept me that I don't have the sex drive that like everybody? Yeah, else. you do. A, Get out of here. Not a th- you. It's nothing to do with sex drive. You said you're not good at talking on the internet. Yeah. Ross, you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. I do. I think also I I don't always can read women sometimes it doesn't matter yeah what you do you fill have? it out are you going to be any worse by not talking to her no is this i'm going to be a, a it was a what is the thing called a fuck just not knowing what to do well we're helping you yeah no when i'm in the sack uh, it comes very naturally i assure you which I don't even. I'm even afraid. I don't even know. I look at the woman's vagina. It looks kind compl- of complicated. It's not. I assure you. It's like I, I've seen it up close, but I never put my dick into it before. Well, there's Ameri- there's apple pie. There's yeah. apple pie. I'm not that desperate. There's uh, my two cats. <laughs> Got me. Before we. Resort to the cats. I am not losing hope on on this girl, this lovely lady whose name is Veronica. No. Is it Martha? Now you're getting into the hillbilly. Oh, so I'm getting closer. All right. Um, is it Sophia? Stop. Oh, that means I'm getting closer. Nope, you're not. It, actually, uh-huh. is it Laquisha? No. Mm. Is it Grace? Fuck Grace. Yeah, we wish, right? Yeah, right. That bitch had a chance. Anyways, uh, has anybody heard about this rapper, Extension? Excess t- Tension? Yeah. Did you hear about that shit? Yeah, fucking ridiculous. You know, who? I don't know these kids are nowadays. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the deal with Extension? He uh, okay, so he's another SoundCloud rapper. We, okay. I, I think I told you about Lil Peep, right? Yep. About the Xanax and overdoing on, uh, maybe, overdoing on a fucking Instagram. Maybe I know you talked about the one dude that has the rainbow and the. Oh yeah, the pedophile. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Takashi. Yeah, Takashi mm-hmm. sixty nine or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's Extension's deal? Extension. So he's another SoundCloud rapper, and uh, I think honestly. I, I check out these guys, you know, and I can tell, like, okay, this is shit or this is good, but I don't like it. Like, this is, like, you know, uh, marketable. Sure. And Extension, honestly, he fucking, however you say it, he honestly just sounded like complete shit. Like, he can't even market it. I don't know how he got big. And I found out he got big because I'm pretty sure he got big because he has a video uh, where it's a bunch of little kids playing adults. And at the end, like a uh, a little black kid lynches and hangs a little white kid, like they're like five years old. Okay. And and that's what got him big. So what I thought was funny though is he, I think he got, I forgot what it was. He got shot during a robbery. Was it? Was that it? No, Ross. What? I heard he it be, he owed a lot of money because he was on drugs. He owed a lot of money because and then he got shot. Mm-hmm. Or no, but I heard he had like a gun in his hand and the cops shot him. I'm pretty sure that was it. This is like a modern day Tupac kind of thing. It's never going to be solved, in my opinion. Or no, and I'm glad, but but see, that's what I was going to get to. Is I was talking about this because, like, you know, you talk about current events, whatever, at work, and I was like, oh yeah, fuck that guy because he's just like a horrible rapper, whatever. And uh, I, I'm like, you know, how, how, why why are kids looking up to these people killing themselves? Like, what is that going to fucking help? And he's like, man, my daughter, she was crying all week about that shit. She's crying all week, and I'm like, dude. At least somebody like Tupac had a fucking message, you know? 
instead well, of instead of like t- just take drugs and kill yourself, I'm gonna leave. A, yeah, that that's what is a. He, I think he had kind of like a. Hom, I don't know what you call a homicide note or just suicide note. Well, I, usually a suicide note, but he he puts some shit about. I'm going to die soon and I want people to always remember me because I helped them in their lives. It's like, dude, nobody knows who the fuck you are. Can I stop you right there? Yeah. Do these kids care about Chris Cornell dying? No. Pro- probably no. Just the, you know, from Lincoln Park, how you say his last name? Bennington. Benison? Yeah. No. 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 It's like these guys are legends, you know, in yeah. their own right. All, all. I'm sure there's some people. Yeah. Some there kids is. that are like, Chester. But I've seen... Lincoln Park twice. I have I have in the positive scene song. I'll garden. be honest. I didn't I didn't give a shit about Lincoln Park. That's just how when I was in high school. You. One step closer than I'm about to break. Yeah, I I could not stand that. That was just me, man. I, I I'm not gonna do it. You do, do it, it, Ross. Do it. No, no I don't remember the lyrics. One step closer. To I'm about to break. One step closer. I'm about to break. To fucking that girl on this podcast, and you're about to splooge. Woo. Um, if you people don't remember, I'm a huge Slipknot fan. Even when Paul Gray died, yeah, the bassist, I, I was am. a little bummed, but I didn't cry about it. I don't mm. understand how people get emotional. Even Vinny Paul from Pentel, yeah, I I, I was I mean, the guy, but I didn't. Get, I I got a little upset, but I didn't like a whole fucking week crying over it. It's like I didn't know these guys. I respect yeah. them, but uh, that's that's just people going nuts over celebrities. Yeah, yeah. it's like I never buy like John Lennon or something. Well, John Lennon was a little uh, more a legend than all those guys. I don't think he's a legend. If only Zach was here to back me up. It's a new boxing match, double team against Ross. Oh, it's going to happen, baby. You're going to get your fucking ass kicked. Why are you flicking off Pierogi right now? Pierogi's <laughs> awesome. Look at him over there. Pass that. <laughs> where, Bill, were you about to say something? I was going to say... I like the Beatles. There. I said it. Okay. Also. It's all good. I don't think, I don't know, people idolize athletes. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, they you know what? I don't, I, I, I'm i sorry. Not to interrupt you, but I am. No, I, I, I don't get why people idolize actors so much. Like when an actor dies. I don't. Because all they fucking do is act. I mean, yeah, they're huge. Yeah, they make a shitload of money. Yeah, they're known because they're on a screen. But if they didn't do that, like they don't really contribute that much. They don't contribute shit. Yeah, I think music will help a person more than a fucking movie. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just you know me. what I say about celebrities. What do you say about celebrities? Fuck them! Okay. You just scared the shit out of Pierogi after you flicked him off. I had yeah. to do that because I'm the kind of person I just don't. Ki- the people. Why should I give give anybody? Any more props? Yes. They make them money. Yes. Exactly. Mm. And that's why I did what I did. It's like all the I agree. Musicians should be a little more props for, the, but we like musicians. Mm-hmm. Wait, what are we talking about now? Musicians deserve some more props. Oh, I thought you said magicians need more props Mag- like on stage. How you Which they do, by okay. the way. Wow, I'm. Karen, t- people who are. In I'm the picturing mid- like bunnies and hats and shit. People yeah. who make music, yeah, the right music, mm-hmm. are more more talented. Than Wait, the right music? What's oh, the wrong music? Pop artists, right? No SGWs or country. I can never get any country country artists nowadays. Johnny Cass, I can do, but outside Johnny Cass, I don't understand pop music or or, or country music. To to me, it's just it's so simple and basic. That it just bores me. I well, like, I need. I, well, I mean, don't you ever get that feeling like when you're trying on new lingerie at the store, you need some pop music. Mm-hmm. It doesn't help you feel better about yourself. I don't wear lingerie. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. I guess that's yeah, just never me. Mind. Mm. Yeah, never mind. Me neither. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. So, Philly. What? Anything else going on in your life? Anything? Uh. Oh, I was uh, the only other thing I had written down. Wait, are we done talking about the lingerie? I get, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, right. no, that's like, cool. Oh, you want to see my lingerie? That's uh, gonna be another part. Yeah. I would love to walk in there. That'll be like save in it for episode. save it for that. Yeah, episode. You know what I'd love to do here. next year for Ross to come on Valentine's Day because Ross will totally seduce all the girls. Yeah, you want to see me in lingerie? Check me oh. out next year in Valentine. All the single ladies. All the single. Oh ladies. yeah. I, I'm I'm willing to like. Andy goes out there to see me. 
I'm single and ready to mingle. Mm-hmm. So. That's right. And how do you feel about Irish girls, huh? I love your accents. Yeah. Yeah. How so, do they sound? Lug, sug. How do they, that's what that's all they say? No, I'm trying to say cheers. I forgot how they do it. Say slancha, slancha. Thank you, slancha. Yeah, I um, sometimes I take music too literally, and I was listening to Yo Gotti, which is a guy on Gucci Mane's label, and mm-hmm. uh, one of the songs goes, "Hand on my gun, hand on my Bible, me and two bitches in the shower," mm-hmm. and I thought, man. I don't. I, how could somebody be in that situation? How do you even have sex when your both hands are full? Also, why would you bring a gun or a Bible into the shower? Yeah, I feel like the water okay. would be really detrimental. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be, uh, if I wasn't understanding the the terminology, or is that supposed to be pimp to have a Bible and gun in the shower? What does that mean to you? Because I don't understand what that lyrics means. Yeah, me neither. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't get it. Well, I, I I always I, I work at a, at a go store with, with teenagers. They always say what they like about these rappers is what the the meaning of the lyrics, and I say that's all you care about. And plus, they're not making their lyrics; some producers making it. So why are you respecting these people who who are not doing shit but standing? It's kind of like a politi- politicians. Yeah. And what did they say? Don't bring up politicians. What did the teenage coworkers say when you bring that up? What do they say to you? I got nothing. They say that I got nothing? Yeah. Funny much. Do you tell them they're pathetic? No, I can't. Do you ask for their phone numbers? No, it's like everything is about meaning, meaning. They don't care about how the the sound, you know. I, I whip on you sometimes because I don't like everything you with. But we say they play guitars. They, they actually make their own music. But rappers nowadays, back in the day with, with Tupac, you know, you know, and they, they make their own lyrics. It's like they there's no soul. I mean, Nothing about nowadays with these rappers. It means shit. I what, thi- what's NWA? Niggas. How do you say? I can't. Don't make me say it. With attitude. Yes, <laughs> you don't, you don't want to say with attitude. I forgot but that. You'll say the N. Yeah, yeah. Roz, you fucked that up. This and on to our next conversation of. So what, say it again. What? <laughs> no, the joke yeah. I was making is I'm wearing an NWA sweater. And yeah. so I facetiously said, NWA, what's NWA? And then Ross had to yeah. make us all uncomfortable. <laughs> what did I tell you, Ross? Dino Bosco comes out when the N-bombs start dropping. Let me ask you this. I knew it, man. Do you like Public, public Enemy? Yeah, Public Enemy number one. Thank you. All these old rap groups, you know, even, um, what was that with the web? Run DMC? Yes, Run had a message. Even if he turns into... I only like NWA of those. You know why Pablo Emily? Why not? No. Because it's just annoying. I don't know. I, what, Flavor like, Flav! Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's like... Case like, in point. Yeah, case in point. Exactly. <laughs> no, there's like, what, two songs? Mm-mm. I like... Out of, out of old school, mm-hmm. I'm really picky, and I like, like, like Karis One or Cool Keith. Sure. Cool Keith is not old school. Yeah, he is. He's he's older than like I think he's as old as NWA. Why do I don't recognize he used him? To then. Be in, he used to be an ultra magnetic MCs. Can you say one song? Maybe I heard him. Is that I don't I don't yeah, I don't MC Ultra. MC Ultra. I don't know. That's How like about the Juvenile song. back that thing up. Who? Juvenile. No, no, I mean, and, and that's what I mean. Like, the, there's rappers like that where where they have one hit and the rest is shit. Eminem, that's the one that I've been liking for twenty I, years now. I never liked Eminem. You, you know, you, it, my what about you, Bill? Eminem's all right. I th- feel. I think if when we were, you know, in middle school, he three was six better. mafia. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> you never get to get it. Three six no. mafia is no. goofy. Really? Um, I love three six mafia. I wish. You see, when you were saying about people making their own music, I wish they had something like three six mafia. Shitloads of hi hat and bass, but a real bassist and a guy just going nuts on a fucking hi hat. But the thing about <laughs> you had a real like excess tension is um he has very heavy bass and mm-hmm. mixing and that's what I don't like. Dude, he, one thing about he has heavy bass is like, oh, this is so fucking heavy. It's so fucking generic. It, it's it's nothing original what he does. And he and I don't know. I'll he, be more original than him. We're gonna have a rap group. Russ. But you don't realize he abused his girlfriend too. Yeah, he beat the shit out of his yes. girl who, who so was what pregnant. Is the, what is the well, look up? Pregnant. What is the Plan look up? Plan B. 
What does it look up to him? And they, they call him Exa- the exactly. What is there to cry about for a week? Yeah, somebody like that. I don't know. Whatever. I, I think with this skinny old. It, yeah, it's like Tupac, Snoop Dogg, all these guys. They're not. They were not perfect. But they, Snoop Dogg bakes shit with Martha Stewart now. That's somebody to look up to. You know, yeah. Snoop Dogg is after what, being. You yeah. know, murder was the case that they gave me. So and he's, he's going in the right direction. He's probably next to Will Nelson, the biggest pot, pet head in America. Yeah. And you think about a celebrity who's bigger pet than Snoop Dogg? Hmm. Doug Stanhope? Who is a celebrity? Oh, that's. That was me, man. I don't even know who you said. That's. That's fine. It's fine, Ross. I hope. I hope Doug's not watching. Or listening to this. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? No, I don't have it. I, I don't think. Can't remember anything. You know what I would like to say? Slanch. How you say that? Slancha. 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 Slancha, yes. You know? Right. It sounds I don't like have a saying, it's a long shot. Oh, it reminds you? me of it because they say it in uh in the soccer game I play. When you I, shoot I for the goal. I also it in this uh, show. With a bunch of Irish people try a bunch of uh, uh, foods or drinks a lot of wars. It's called Facts. Facts? It's on YouTube. Mm. You know, okay. a bunch of Irish people. And I first time I said, yeah. I said to myself, why can't you say cheers? Well, so you're trying to start a fight is what you're saying. No, I just you know, I like that. Like, I think we have another boxing match. <laughs> Ross versus the Irish people. Hey, I'll, my stuff that's Irish show, you know, is it's so like, he so you better prepare for him, uh, man. Yeah, he sounds like trouble. I love my stepdad. He's he, he's my father. He, he's like Gavin to you, you know. Gavin's my stepdad. I. Th- you, you guys never told me. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't how I wanted you to find out. What the fuck? No, no. He's m- well, let me ask you this. When Kelly told you she had a son, how did you act to that? Because I do like a lot of girls right now who has kids. I just don't know if I'm going to be. How do you handle that shit? Because I do, do like a, like this one girl who shops a jewel. But she has a son. I don't know if I am can do it. Uh, I think I was like, uh, does he work under minimum wage? That's and not what I'm can saying. Can he fetch things for me? I mean, serious. Yeah. How do you? How did you deal with it when you liked somebody who had a kid? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't care. You said fuck it. I deal with it. Well, Gavin's yeah. pretty cute. Yeah. If it were an ugly kid, like that'd be a whole different man. No, right? he's good. He's a good kid, but he's a little more. He's a, a little more cute. Di- difficult, you know. Uh, you know, hard, hard. He's difficult. Well, get, not he's, as well. Gavin behaved. is totally gonna see this episode. Not, no, I'm not thinking Gavin. The girl I like, son, is he, he's a good kid, but he seems like he's a little more. What girl? The girl that you're gonna screw on the podcast? No, it was another girl. Different girl. Oh, yeah. a ladies' man. Over I have. Here. A, I, I got a couple of girls on my. All right. So which one are we gonna screw on this table while we have a podcast? That's a girl for every time I die. Okay. okay. Does she have any kids? Is no. the son gonna are be the sure? special guest? No, no, no. This is a girl from I like at okay. Jewel. Okay, who has a, who has a kid? Can is I guess Christina her name? Christina Cupello. No, Ooh. she's married. Um, yeah, I didn't. I, that's not the question. No, it's not Christina. Okay, she's a customer that I really like, but I, she has a kid. Is okay. her name Rachel? Can I? Can you stop with the names? Can I? I, I, <laughs> I'm being. I'm having <laughs> kind of serious customer. Sorry. All right. So she has a kid. How old? She's uh, Phil's age. The kid is no. Damn, I knew you liked those gilfs, man. Oh, come on. I knew it, man. She's your, uh, beef she, jerky. She, her name is uh, Casey. The kid's name. No. The, the, oh, come on. Stop it. So guys. the mom's name is Casey. Yeah. The kid is how old? Um, Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Why is he difficult? It's very and bounces, runs around. I don't know if I have, I'm going to have the patience, but I really like the, I really like her, the mom. Is she a single mother? Yes. As far as I know, I haven't asked her. I would propose to her right away. Mm-hmm. You're not asking me how How do I, should, should I do it? Say, you know, we want to hang out even knowing she was a kid? Hell yes. Why? Yeah, why not? Because I don't know if I, I can 
I'm the kind of guy I can deal well, with. Well, you don't know until you do it. I do like her a lot. Well, well that's why you learn from your mistakes. She also is a professional musician. A professional musician? Or is she do, like electric violin? Yes. How do you know? Oh, I don't know. I just thought yes. of Leslie Nielsen. And yes, she is a professional. Huh. She's yours, actually. Does she play on Desolation Row? I don't know. Her name is Casey. Last name Jones. I think you put. She driving that train. Are you high on cocaine? Are you putting shit together? Putting. I I don't even know where where, what's going on. She went to Main South, and her name is Casey. No, I don't know. Is her last name Jones? I don't know her last name. Never asked. Well, how are you supposed to stalk this person down? Because she's a customer of Jewel. Mm. Ah, I see. Uh, so but you're, she's you're she's got the answer. rewards card. Yeah, you man. know what she's buying. And she has a kid, and she is a professional violinist. Does she like you? I think she does because it always goes. She talks to me. She, she goes like out. try the bananas when you're around. <sighs> Not everything, like. dude. She, I think she does like me, but sometimes women are complicated, as you know. Well, I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, the signals. Like, what what kind of signals are you getting that she likes you? She always says hi to me. She goes out. Well, out. so does my mom. Oh, What's a signal to you? My God. Like, Why don't you go for Ursula? This is where I don't know. I don't know signs very well. Uh, well. Especially in a position where, where there's a customer. Well, may, like, you know, maybe like ch- trying to trying out the bananas or the whipped cream. And, and like choking I, n- I don't it, work in you know. produce. I work in a fund. Mm. Fr- hmm. Signals there. Oh, like try to pretend to grab for the you know ballpark she just bought, and then he like grab you by the dick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, that not every person's very sexual. Or why don't you say like, "Hey, can I help you carry your groceries to your car?" Yeah. I have, and she said yes. D- didn't. Ooh. And and then no, it didn't go to like second base from there, right? I can't do that at work. I'm trying to be professional. Oh, man, that's where you get... Key- well, I thought you did that with... Like, there was that one old man that that happened with. He got kicked out because he was hitting on me. I know. I'm saying you guys went to, like, second base. No, he... I don't... No. Wait, they what? kicked him out? No. I don't want to get into that, please. You want to get... <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't want to get into that either, <laughs> <Okay>. frankly. <laughs> it's like... You don't... Yeah. Re- Dude, you you really want me to get some fucking <laughs> pervert was hitting on me and gra- and trying to <laughs> why? Hey man, you're the one who started talking about your sex life, man. Dude, I'm open about it. I, I I just don't know how do we don't know how do we women. It's like obviously the girl every time we die wanted me, but I really like this girl, you know, at Jewel. Yeah, who is a customer, but I can't read her. You know, mm. you just ask. You don't got to read. Do you know so her it's, name? It's simple. Yeah, her name is K- Casey. Do you know her full name? I know. like maybe like friend request, because I think it's difficult to do it in a professional setting. Because if you say Which like, I don't know if I want to do, you know. Well, I mean, just like hitting on her while you're on the clock, she might be like, worst case scenario, she has no interest in you. Then it's like, oh, this just got really weird really quickly. Where's your boss? Yeah. So that's that's my fear. She hits on my boss too. What about Joe Spano? Does wait, he get she, any action? Wait, she hits on you? Yes. What does she? How does she hit on you? Oh, I can't do this much longer. I don't like repeating myself. Well, no, you said she comes up to you and says hi. Mm-hmm. That's not hitting. That's on That's not hitting on you. You said hi to me today. I got, Was I, I not know. getting the Ross signals? It's like hi, hi, hi Ross. How are you doing? In a very poor taste of voice. Ooh. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know how to, else to do it. It's like, hi. It's like in a very housey pron- pronounce, but then so I can't pronounce. Yeah. How you say puss? Persnickety? How she says, how she says hello to me. Flirtatious, you yes. said. Oh, flir- yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what you were talking about. So. Potential self. What what if you just sl- would it be? I mean, honestly, Bill, like in all seriousness, would it be r- bad to just be like, here, here's my number? I wouldn't. Yes, because th- I can't. Th- they go I'm too not in far. a position to hold a complaint. Right. Yeah. And uh, and I can't lose my job. Right. So I would personally. But I do like her. She's like, 
I, I, I don't. I think if you. Why don't see, you just tell her you're a really nice girl? I have. I also said. What did you say exactly? I said recently, you know, she was telling. I was talking about my weekend mm-hmm. in Ohio. She went to school to be a musician in Ohio. She was talking and I said, "Yes, I paid some what you say." And she said, "Thank you. I appreciate it." You know, I, I'm missing the hey. I think you're so really nice and beautiful. Time. You did you ever say hi? I think you're a really nice and beautiful girl. Yes, and you she said that. Smile was at me. Well, how did the conversation go? I don't believe you, man. Dude, it's like it, it's difficult to force somebody when who's the customer because you don't. No, it's not flirting. That's just a compliment. I, I don't I know. Com- is it flirting, Bill? Saying that. Mm-hmm. It is. Telling a customer, "Hey, you're a really nice and beautiful girl." Like, yeah, that's for sure flirting. I do it all the time, but I do it really? mildly. So, like, a lot of time, I tell customers, "You have nice eyes." With a lot of times, like, I go. I what like, if they're cross-eyed? You tell them to. That it, too? it goes more about the color. I like blue, blue and green eyes. And are they always like very receptive? Like, oh, why, thank you, kind sir. Yes. Titter, yes. titter. Okay, maybe I'm overlooking this. See, yeah, no, I, I, I think you could compliment people. Yeah, you know? see, I see. I, I, I like, oh, that's a, ni- very, that's a nice outfit you have today. I'm very good about, you know, complimenting women, and I never had a very negative, you know, I don't, if I don't, if I have. You're I never don't. like, hey, get out of here, you whore. What yeah. are you wearing? Yeah. Wow, you're wrinkly. Well, I'm 33, yeah. but I picked who I um. I'm know. wrinkly. Hi, Ross. Sometimes I got to be careful because, you know, I don't always have something to look at it and walk. Ross, why don't you get on Tinder? I am on Tinder. Are you on it a lot? Sometimes. I I don't get ever matches. Well, are you he particular? Got a, he, he did get a match. I don't know if we should mention her name. <laughs> Let's just say it ends with a monster, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, well, did anything ever happen? She didn't. No. I, I, ne- I like her. She didn't like me back. Oh. oh. Yeah, and, well. w- and what are you going to do now? You try again, right? Absolutely exactly not. right. So, so not, oh my God, this is gonna be an awkward night. What? Why? I'm talking about who I think you are. Yes, but now yeah. we're talking about just in general. Yeah, just in general. You try. You anyway. try again. I'm most likely gonna get shy because I, I I've seen who probably. We're not talking about that person. We're just talking about in anyway, general. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot more people at the bar. Be honest, you when you can tell when I like somebody, I I I I'm get very. You know, all this. Or, you scratch your beard? Oh, I get very uh, quiet. It's very obvious when I like somebody. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But I don't, You have you noticed that when I like somebody, Phil, when I get real quiet? Or I think that's what you did the first time we hung out. Yeah. He must hate us because yeah. he's been talking all night. Yeah, what the? Because we're brothers, you know? Nice. You know, I say this a lot. Outside Phil, we did have a falling out with you. Bill, I I always liked you, man. I hope the bam. I think the first time I met you was at Carlos. Yep, and you insulted me. What did I say? Uh, you said I smoked cigarettes like a bitch. I never said that. You, you absolutely totally did. One hundred and ten percent. I was there with Adela, and I was in the kitchen having a cigarette, and he said you smoke like a bitch. Did I realize that you had a visit problem? Well, I don't think it has anything to do with a vision <laughs> problem. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't taking deep enough drags was the issue. And yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm a different person. Are you we, saying you fl- you were flicking off at the time and we don't remember I, I this? I don't understand how I how I was eight, seven years ago. How God, I yeah, now. that would have been yeah around probably because eight, ten. Been, uh, am I different? Uh, I honestly don't know. Because, like, I saw you that time that I didn't see you again for the, years. The hormones are kicking in. You're starting to look more like Caitlyn Jenner. I, I, I think I just was an asshole more than I was now. And I just didn't I just didn't know how to associate with people. Yeah. Because I had, say, it was only two, a couple of friends. And it's like, to, when I so was... So, I mean, yeah, why not, you know, oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Why not just go up to people and be like, you smoke like a bitch, right? I know what you oh, mean. Oh, I was just being a dick that night. <laughs> it happens. It's cool. I didn't hold it against you. I was actually. How did you react? I, I don't remember. Like, I don't. Dude, can you light up a cigarette? I just don't realize how. Why would I see that? Oh yeah, I gotta double check here, right? No. I gotta clarify. No, now I'm insecure. You know, I get all like this and. Uh, what, <laughs> when you when a person said the incus, I, I can't pronounce it. Wait, hmm. And you just said. It, 
What? Incons- Inconsiderate? No. You said it. Inconspicuous? No, you just said it, I asked you to smoke a cigarette. You asked me to Incestual. smoke a cigarette? No. N- and. Incons. No, don't make me pronounce it. Can you spell it? No, you, you said you didn't want to smoke it because you're in. Oh, I'm insecure. So, well, I, I don't always un- understand that definition. Well, so. Different meanings mean. It's like shy. Right? Like now. Self conscious? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Why would you be self conscious? I, I just I'm trying to understand what what why would you be like that now? And I just well because care. now you're demanding me to smoke a cigarette. It's no, I'm asking you because I'm kind of I want to see what my reason was then now. Right, and the reason I don't want to is because I have not changed the way I smoke cigarettes. So whatever bothered you in the past is still going to be here. And I don't want to set myself up for failure. And, and I'm saying you smoke like a man. That oh my god! Here I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke fucking seven. No, at a time. Just yeah. <laughs> you know, That's how a man smokes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I I'm, I am. S- no, I never. Away. So being insecure would be like if you were sitting here talking about how much you hate. The rapper extension, and he just went on and on about how much you hate the rapper extension. And I was wearing my R.I.P. extension shirt under this N.W.A. sweater. Or uh, this insecure is the same thing as you not wanting to fuck a chick because of not having a ball. Right. Well, exactly. I, I uh, kind of like that. Insecure. Sure. Yeah. And it's natural. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know, we gotta face our insecurities. Dude, if you lost a ball like I did, would you be it? Oh, you just say fuck it. Like my of doctor. Of course, I'd say fuck it. My doctor, I always say fuck it. That's the best way to start every morning. My, do- my doctor said, you know, she said, if you if you sleep with girls, she's probably not even gonna notice. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Was the doctor a girl? No, it was a guy. So he's true, but I think it's totally reasonable for you, you know to I be. Asked, you know, why I asked him that because I wanted to get I wanted to get a fake one in. I said, how much would it you know cost? It would it would so it's cost cover it. You said so 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 is, so and so it wouldn't cover it. And I and I go it's with, cosmetic. Yeah, and, and I go with that probably would not really know. So what if you did he give you a figure like how much it would cost? No, he did. Because I think it got a little insulted in a way. Because why would you want to do it? You know, for symmetry. He got insulted that you want to have a cosmetic ball. I I don't know why had somebody would get ins- yeah insulted by right. Because he killed my cat, so and he's like, "Why would you do that to yourself?" You like, I, "Well, I, fuck him. It's your, yeah. it's your decision." Well, what if you, a, what if you wanted to save some money and put one of those like uh, rubber bouncy balls in instead, lower the price? Dude, I can uh, fucking uh, f- f- you know afford that shit. It, it's like I am. How no, they're should, like twenty five cents at how, Jewel. How you? It's it's sh- it, you know it shows me for that it's a lot because you put your other. You oh know, yeah, yeah, sure. How, how you said it? It is. It, Anesthesia? Insecure? No, I'm saying what I... Anesthesia. No, I'm speaking right now Insecure. About, yeah, oh. I mean, oh. About, I can't pronounce that word. Insecure. Yeah, about it. it you th- I don't know why I am about that. It's like, it, uh, it is holding me back to actually right no, now. No, it I'm makes all, sense. It makes sense. I could see, but like, it, it, I mean, I the, am more like, you, the, the more mature you get, you're like, no, it doesn't matter. Why? It's like, I have like, had the confidence. Like, yeah, I want to fucking go, you know? It's like, hey, if she knows, it's like... So, hey, so you do want to... But my problem is, hey, so, see, those we're getting cool. her on the podcast, Ross. I don't care. That would be awesome. Okay, you want to know what what it's like? You, you down there, you see like a flat whoopee cushion, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like down there. What, what, my left side is flat. Nothing. So you don't want us to zoom in on it right now. It's right. nothing there. It's like, does it make? Does it sound like a whoopee cushion? Like if you squeeze your legs too tight, walking down like a dude m- modeling floor catwalk. It's funny that that girl who 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 was uh, every time we died didn't notice, and that's what How, I, well you weren't naked, but she was feeling down there. It's like she was not giving a good uh, grab. Then I, I was like, you should have told her you're not giving a good grab. You're I always pathetic. did. It's like you didn't notice that. You're you're pathetic. You're, you're not feeling the whoopee cushion. <laughs> exactly how I could I could describe it. You know. I, I, I I'm not gonna do it on camera. You feel it down there. You're not gonna feel anything on the left side. On the right side is a little different. 
Well, now somebody's got to feel it by the end of this night. I, I actually want to. Well, my hands are full. Can I use my mouth? Uh, no. But I actually am looking maybe to hook up tonight. What? Yeah. You told your mother you'd be home by one. It's not the first time I s- my mom my mom does not work care for. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, Operation Get Ross Laid. Yep. In effect. I'm, I'm being serious tonight. I I want a good night tonight. All right, but we're we're really gonna try with our wingman talking because both of us are broke. <laughs> So, uh, you got right? no hooker to slide the credit card I'm not talking about crack. Cr- I'm not talking about credit cr- cr- hooker. Mm. I n- me neither. That's what I'm Thank saying. Thank God, yeah. yeah. That, this is much cheaper. How many goes are coming to, coming to the spa tonight? That's what I want to know. I'm not doing but what, the, uh, what. I don't know. So, what Ross hey, is let, referring to. Let me check to, my uh, app. Yeah, check. Here. So, we have a birthday party to go to tonight. And Phil and Ross and I are going. And Who's the birthday? JP. Oh, it's his birthday. That makes me... Why did you guys say this is Wizardly? I would have been game for it. Uh, like. I thought we said... And he's the one that Phil is buying the Xbox off of. Yeah. Phil said that. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet buy drinks for him. Yeah. I yeah. bet he'd love you forever. Well, well this is not like a couple of drinks, not like the whole night. You and buy him one drink. And he'll... he'll, and he'll no, and even, like, I'm not planning on buying him a shit. Like, I'm not even really planning on drinking at the bar, but I'm going. Say what's you like a drink at all? I'll probably have, like, a drink or... Well, I say that now, but I'll probably ring up, like, a $100 fucking tab because that's just me. But, <laughs> no. Like, I'm trying to be a little frugal, as your brother-in-law would say. Yeah, why don't you invite your brother-in-law? He'll buy us around. He's in New York with his family and my sister. So, oh, oh my so, God. He's, so he's what? not that good if he's not coming over today. Wait, what's in New York? His uh, family owns a uh, cabin. In New York? Yeah. Like upstate? Yes, actually. Okay. Do you know where? I can find out. It's not important. No, it's fine. It's all good, Ross. It's got to be better than Cincinnati. I Actually, Cincinnati was a nice area. Really? Yeah. Well, the area I was in, it was in the which area. So, but, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> the rich area of anywhere is going to be nice. Yeah. Well, that's my my family's assessment. I don't know, man. Inglewood, Stone Park, North Lake. Well, according to him, th- um, oh, this th- guy doesn't have a bunch of used needles on his lawn. No. Nice. He, he must be the mayor. Yeah. Right. Oh god. Ugh. Did you just tear ass? No, I'm good. Just readjusted the whoopee cushion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never should have said that. I had to ask you something. Be honest. Who are you asking, Phil or Phil. myself? Okay. Yeah. I'm willing to buy something not tickets next the last next three uh, years because after this album, I'm going to retire going to shows. What? Retire? Why? Because I think it's going to the point after this album. Wait, Slipknot shows or shows in general? Slip, Slipknot shows. Okay. Oh. Um, Eric said he would go with me to one show. My buddy PJ. If they pay play three shows in Illinois, if I pay for it, will you go with me? Only if you pay for it, man. And you're willing to drive? I I mean I don't even really want to see Slipknot, so but I don't you're doing me I'd a have favor. to think about it. You're doing me a favor. You know how much I love it. Is okay. it at the Forge? No. no. Where is it? It's gonna be Allstate or it's gonna be at Tinley Park. Oh, you live so close to Allstate. I'm just Call saying. It, 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 I'm retiring the scene because I don't think after this next album it, it, it's going to be shit. But I want to see them three more. I would retire already. If I... Didn't we'll they already see. do a farewell show in like no, 2006? Haven't. No, they haven't officially. There was an official? No. It was an unofficial farewell show? No, it, it hasn't. Even... You have to understand. You know how much I love Slipknot. It's like, but I want you... Eric and PJ to be with me to be, see something that for the last three times. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Whatever. Okay. That's and fine. believe me, I'm not. I'm not. You know, maybe get me one or two beers. That's all I ask and drive. That's not asking for, and it will be very up close. Okay. I hope. I hope you guys have fun. Are you gonna get VIP? <laughs> not inviting Brian, right? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't afford. <laughs> Dude, last time I saw something that. What the fuck? 
at, at uh, Tinley Park, it was $150 a ticket. That's cool. I yeah. would retire now. No, I can't do it. I got to do it. And then I saw it on that open air fest. So it was, I, I would retire now. Why? You you went to see. Well, you didn't want to go to Slayer, and you said you already saw them a bunch of times. Because Slipknot's my favorite band. You know that, right? Okay. And yeah, Ra- yeah. And Ramstein's my second favorite band. What's your third favorite band? That's a good question. I can't do it. It's like Ramstein and Slipknot has been my consistently two favorite bands. Okay. Because I've been listening to them the longest. I have to say Static X. Static it, X, okay. Not like George Michael. Absolutely not. George and Michael is pretty good. I've been buggy for the autograph. You know, I get, you gave me the Slipknot Wait, auto- You have a George Michael autograph? No, no, I have a Static X. Oh. I wish. Dude, if we if would not be going out tonight, I would give you 60 bucks for that, but I need the money for the night. I promise you, I will give you money for the autograph. This because how much I w- w- love Static X. All right. How, how much, much joy is having their autograph going to bring to your life? Um, to me, it's just it just I I would this how much I appreciate and love the music. Is just you have no idea how much I will sub Slipknot in, in a nutshell. It's like it wouldn't be for Slipknot and Ramstein instead of X. I wouldn't be the, the matterhead I am tonight today. And I also have to say, Rob, Rob Zombie was the same band that I I got into metal, but I cannot give. Rob Zombie any credit because he's where he is fucking sucks. What? His what? He sucks. What? Why? I saw him last open air. It, it was terrible live. Really? He's, he's coming again. So. Yeah, he, he, he's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? With Marilyn Manson. Oh. Oh, Tinley Park? Yes. Ross, will you buy us tickets to go? No. Phil will drive. I'm not, no. I got to walk anyhow. Jewel needs you again. Yeah. Man... This fucking store is coming between us and metal. Yeah. Well, you know. Or new metal. I don't think that's metal. That's very no. metal of you. It isn't. You know. And it's you not can, very new metal of you either. You can't call. What, something that is the own kind of style of metal. Because new metal is more rap. Something that was only rap in the first album. The rest of the albums have no rap in it. Yeah. Unless, you got that, Phil? Yeah. Unless you have a different definition of new metal. I do. What is your definition? Or disco. So would you consider Mudvayne, Disturb, Deftones, Linkin Park, would you consider that new metal? Uh, because that's what the meta comedian com- community. Thank you. Uh definition of new metal. Maybe Disturbed Corn definitely. Corn, yes. Yeah. That's another one. Limp Bizkit. That's not even metal. That's just shit. Whoa. I w- I and I was right. a, Whoa. I I was a Limp Bizkit fan. When, and it's like you like black metal back in the back in middle school. I was whistling all these new metal bands. I still don't understand be, before YouTube. How did you come and buy all these great black metal bands? Because I I didn't know black metal until like Gamina Bolt Go and Creator Filth. Yeah. Like ten years ago, that's how I I was introduced to black metal. Yeah, but that's not even black metal. Yeah, Phil, because I saw a book with a burning church on the cover when I was like in sixth grade. Yeah, okay. I was like, oh, that looks cool. Mm-hmm. And I just downloaded all the bands that were in it. Napster. Uh, yeah. yeah. First it was, no, I never used Napster. I tried Kazaa, and I then that got Kazaa. shut down. And I went to Bear Lime Shirt. Wire. Yeah, LimeWire. Kaza, LimeWire, BearShare. What else was there? BitTorrent, eventually? Yeah, yeah. BitTorrent is now. I'm on UTorrent. No, SongSeek is the best. Fu- or Soul- SongSeek or SoulSeek? Is Isn't the that best what we're fun- doing here? A little right. bit of soul seeking? SoulSeek.com. <sighs> all right. So, wait. We all love George Michael, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. third favorite band, right? What do you mean? It's almost done. Oh. I don't want you burning yourself there. Man. I thought you were seeking for some soul there. Man. I got a little pack. No one has more soul than George Michael. You got to have faith. Oh, freedom. Freedom's great, man. Yeah. You, and would you pay $60 for his autograph? You want to hear a very good story? Yes, um, only if it's very good. My father was a George Michael's fan. 
back in the eighties and and early nineties. And I, is I, that I, the story? And I remember he, he um in his uh stealth uh Dodge stealth I think that was a car. Maybe and, yeah yeah, and he used to play George Michael shows, and he, and every time Freedom come, he played a CD, he used to play the drums on my head. That is a very good story. Like like this, you see what I'm was doing? Was a <laughs> would it go along with like the low rider bouncing? I just remember so, Freedom and Faith. Wait, hang on. So he was driving the car. Yeah, and he and he played the. Where were you sitting? In the front seat. In like in the shotgun. Yeah, and he and every time he played a CD, he, he played uh, drums. On he my would head. reach over. Did he use drumsticks? No, it just. It's okay. And I and you he know, used wrenches. And Michael Jackson and the Doves and and George Michaels is actually the odious music I remember. Yeah, in my life. Oh man, would he drum on you for all of them? I don't. This was like almost twenty eight years ago, man. I thought you said you got a long term memory. You don't remember the drumming your uncle did? We're gonna let my him know. My father, dude. Your fa- oh, Faza, Joe. Faza. Mm-hmm. Like a gold member, my Faza. No, but it's- anyways, uh. I forgot what I was. Did you? <laughs> my friend showed me this video. You know how um underground, you you know like underground wrestling, like everything pretty much unknown uh, under WWE. You know. Yeah, kinda I like, actually kind of like I've been to a couple of underground wrestling in Chicago with with my with Steve and Jewel. Yeah, well they they had this guy who uh, his per- persona is being, I think his name's Santana Jackson, and his persona is to be Michael Jackson, and all his moves are based. On Michael Jackson dancing, and that's he, and, awesome. And, and he's a great impersonator. I gotta go. And I just had a video. Oh, we could take a break. Just hold, hold it in, man. Just hold it in, man. Is is the whoopee cushion getting bigger? It's starting to hurt. All right. Well, All he right. he did a moonwalk DDT, and it's the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> it's like Diamond Dale, Diamond Dale Page, DVD. Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, DDT. Perfect. All right. All right. Everyone out there, thank you for tuning in to yet another fucking palpitating, scintillating episode of Hear Nothing. See Nothing. Roscoe. That's yep. not how it goes, C- Roscoe. Coming to you soon. Yeah. Roscoe on the table with his girlfriend. And before or after that, Roscoe v. John or Roscoe v. Sandry. Hopefully, all of them. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully both at the same oh, time. There's going to be bloodshed, and I can't wait. But, guys, thank you for listening. Special thank you to everyone in Ireland. Uh, a very special thank you to everyone else. Um, thanks. Have a great day. Yes. Bye. Bye. Es nest nem hajtünk, Stephen.